Hey, it's Tyson. I'm back with another Max Law Tech Tips episode. And today I'm going to talk about something that's not necessarily new, but I would say it's something that is evolving fairly quickly. And it's something that's going to affect your marketing. And I want to talk about it. Before I do that, though, if you've got a tech tip that you want me to cover, just text me uh, 314-501-9260. And I'll try to cover it if I can. Um, feel free to include any questions that you might have in there as well. But using voice search assistants like Siri and Google Assistant, Alexa, things like that are not necessarily new. Um, I'm actually a little worried about using the A word because I did and and she has lit herself up and I'm, I'm afraid that she's going to uh, interrupt the episode. Um, it just turned off. So that's great. Um, but they've not necessarily been, uh, no, they're not necessarily new. They've been around uh, for a little bit now and they're, they're simple, they're convenient, they're great. And because of that, their usage is starting to go way up. And that's something that needs to be on your radar because they're at this point, there's over 36% of Americans that are using voice assistance on a regular basis. And there's going to be some pretty key implications from that, that we need to make sure that we're keeping an eye on. The first of these is that remember that these are usually pretty conversational uh, questions that they're asking, right? Uh, it's it's a much more casual tone that you're going to see than the traditional search where someone types it into a search bar. People aren't just typing in or saying personal injury law. Or they're not saying personal injury lawyer. Though what they're saying is, where can I find a personal injury lawyer near me? Or what's the phone number of the best personal injury lawyer in St. Louis? They're doing things like that. Although that's similar to what you are seeing in, in a regular Google search bar. Similar. It's not the same. You're going to be seeing much longer long tail keyword searches. And so what you need to do is make sure that in your keyword strategy, it needs to change to make it more conversational. Now I'm not saying you, you completely abandon the traditional way of doing things. What I'm saying is, is that you need to, on top of that, add on the more conversational long tail approach, use both of them at the same time. And we could you we could probably do a whole uh, episode on long tail keywords. If you want me to do that, text me, that's fine. But what I'm saying right now is you need to be thinking about the way people are speaking into these devices and the questions that they're going to be asking. And that is going to give you the answer as to what you be, should be focusing on. Okay, so no, no matter what your practice area, you need to be thinking about that. The second thing to consider is that voice searches are often local. And, and that is a really important aspect of this because many times whenever people are searching things, they're just searching, you know, personal injury lawyer. Um, they're, they're not necessarily searching personal injury lawyer St. Louis. Sometimes they are, but usually what happens is, is that Google does that, that does that for us by using our location because it tracks our location. And when people are using, when they're actually talking into the machine, um, they're, they're going to be using typically the local search terms. So, so think about that. And they're, they're going to be asking about results near them or in their town. So you got to make sure that it, if you have a physical location, most law firms do, you need to make sure that you're optimizing it for local search. So local SEO, uh, make sure your Google, my business, business listings reflect that any local keywords that you want to use all of that, make sure that you are optimizing for local. Same thing as a, a traditional Google search, but you got to remember conversational, make sure that w whatever, if, if, if I, if I, uh, speak it into Siri or the Google assistant. I'm not going to say the a word because it'll turn it back on the Amazon one. You know what I'm talking about, but you need to make sure that if you're, it, it, that whenever people are asking for you, whatever they're asking for matches up whenever it pops up on their phone. Okay. Which leads to the third one. Make sure that your the everything sort of goes in a nice flow where 
on your mobile. People are going to be doing this on their mobile devices for the most part. You will. We've gotten phone calls from Amazon, the A word. Um, we have actually gotten calls from that. So um, that one isn't necessarily on your phone, but you are going to see an uptick from the the mobile devices, you know, Siri, uh, Google Assistant. So make sure that it all it it's it's all very congruent. Okay, where you they speak it, it pops up. It's very easy for them to get the information that they need right away and for them to contact you right away. So for example, you know, Hey Siri, find me the best personal injury lawyer in Columbia, Missouri. Hopefully I've, I've optimized this and, and it, no. So I don't know if you could hear that, but it actually did it for me. My phone did it for me. Um, it gave me an option. And I don't, I couldn't hear which option it was, but it did give me an option and it, it, it was the, it was the closest one to me. And so whatever pops up, you're hopefully you've optimized at the point where yours is the one that pops up. And then it's very easy for them to get the information that they need, like I said, and then for them to call you. Okay. And make sure it all is, it's all seamless when they do it. So it's, it's, this is what is, it's interesting because whenever this started to become a thing a few years ago. It, it, we we definitely focused on it a, a little bit, but not we didn't think it through the way that we were starting to when it comes to the more conversational tone and how things should should look and how how people might be reacting or interacting with the devices. So um, that's something that should be on your on your radar. Make sure that you're doing that. And and to be honest with you, I was a little skeptical a few years ago whenever these these started to to gain some traction. But I'm I'm becoming a believer, and it's it's one of these things where it's just another marketing channel that people might be able to find you with. So keep that in mind. All right, so here's a few quick tips to get you started. Just start integrating the natural language into your SEO strategy. All right, consider the questions people might ask and try to answer them in your content, and then also make sure that your website looks good on mobile and it loads quickly. And then finally, get your local SEO game on point um, because voice search and local search, those are, those are deeply connected to each other. So, so just focus on those things to start and expand from there. Uh, so hopefully adopting these changes are, are things that are going to lead to more cases for you. So start thinking about how you can optimize this for your firm. Again, if you have any topics you want me to cover, just shoot me a text, 314-501-9260, and I'll try to cover it if I can. But until next week, remember that consistent action is the blueprint that turns your goals into reality. Take care.